hello i'm william gallagher and this is 58 keys which for once is just about a single thing that's of use to us as writers who use macs and iphones and ipads and actually this time it's for all of those devices so if you use them if you use apple gear to write do please do the youtube dance and subscribe for me it really helps but here's the thing two of the most popular 58 keys episodes recently have both been about the to do app OmniFocus. I have a project called General Finances. General Finances. I could do a third and a fourth and a, how long have you got? A fifth? But we would soon reach a point where I was just wibbling on at you as an OmniFocus fan rather than also showing you something useful. But there was one useful thing I kind of threw in. I, I mentioned in those episodes and I said I showed it as useful, but I, I'd tell you more about it if you wanted me to. If you asked in the comments, and you did. Uh, comments, uh, emails, it even came up in completely unrelated Zoom conferences. This is what I briefly showed you on iPhone. This is, I threw this in as one of the many amazingly useful features of iPhones that you can exploit in the to-do app OmniFocus, the, the task manager OmniFocus. Well, actually, no, um, not quite. What I showed you then, I showed it to you on iOS 13, and that's where I've used it a lot. But let me show, it, show you the same thing on iOS 14, since A, that's about you, and two, it looks nicer. Let's pretend I've just had a call from one of the many companies that I, I run writing workshops for. You know, we've agreed a date, a time, I'm booked. Now, on either my iPhone or my iPad, not the Mac, it's not possible at the moment on the Mac, I tap this shortcut. Uh, Ad workshop. Now, these are the three companies that tend to. I mean, I do well, lots of workshops for all sorts of people. These people do that hire me a lot. Let's try the FEU uh, and Federation of Entertainment Unions. If if you're in England and you're a member of the Writers Guild here, like me, or the National Union of Journalists, uh, the Musicians Union, or uh, the Actors Union Equity, you're automatically also a member of the FEU, and you get their great training for free. I mean, okay, I've just said I. I give some of them, but I mean, I take it as well. It's amazing. Cannot speak highly enough about the FEU. But let's say they've they have booked me. I tap FEU. Shuka asks me when the workshop is, and actually, I'm going to say Christmas Day, just in case I forget to delete this when you and I are done. Okay, so Christmas Day done, and now this this is a list of all the workshops I do for the FEU. I mean, if we'd chosen. One of the other firms, it would, it would list the different ones I do for those. Uh, let's go for creative productivity. That feels kind of appropriate for you and me and right now. So we tap there. Now, where is it? You see this, this bottom one, online workshop. That's quite a new addition. Can't imagine why. But let me pretend that we're doing one of the real life in-person workshops because it gives us slightly more to talk about something we're involved. So I'm going to tap London. Um, and that's it we're done. Uh, you just saw how it jumped off into the other apps then came back to shortcuts and uh, shortcuts and we're going to come back to shortcuts soon too but first here's what we've got here's why it's worth doing this. So I'm at the calendar. Where's December? So I'm at 25th. There is the FEU workshop. Now this is the regular calendar. I tend to also use Fantastic Cal. I'm looking at Busy Cal again but oh, it doesn't matter. It's always the same. All your calendars will have FEU, Creative Productivity, at London. At London. I must change that to in. Remind me, wouldn't you? So uh, this calendar entry, it doesn't have a full location, a specific venue, because I, I never know it. I can be running this this type of workshop at any of all sorts of venues. And, and that's the kind of detail I will have to add in later when I find out where I'm going. But it does have times and things. So that's handy enough by itself, I suppose. I mean... I didn't have to open the calendar, swipe to the date, uh, tap an event. The shortcut just did all of that. But the shortcut did this too. Let's go into OmniFocus. Here, here's the front page of OmniFocus actually. There's the front page here. So I have to notice in the projects, I've organized it into folders and work, clients, FEU. I should say, I don't need to tap through all of those all the time. I mean, almost never. I'm only doing it now to show you, and I will only ever do it later when I, if I need to do something about that new venue, or something, I need to, something. but here's everything I'm doing for the FEU at the moment. 
uh, that one about growing uh, business that's real but there's the uh, creative productivity one for Christmas Day and now look at this I didn't have to add any of these my shortcut has done it all for me notice too uh, everything below the top one is in grey now I, I like seeing this I like seeing the whole list but I could choose to do this instead pick that and it only shows me the first thing I only appear to have one thing on my to-do list which is a nice feeling and this happens to be a project where most things need to be done in a particular order I mean um, I can't invoice the FEU until after I've run the workshop for example and if the workshop's in London or somewhere I have to book where to stay I need to arrange travel but uh, the first thing then was booking hotel let's say I've done that boom now actually I think it's quite hard to see what that change was because they're so similar but this one has changed to book train which happens to be the next thing I've got to do and I'll tap the next one thing and stuff like that but notice the dates on those tasks that was uh, dated December the 11th 2020 and I did not enter that date I told the shortcut December 25 and 25th and OmniFocus knows I will want to do that task on the 11th here's how it's done uh, there are two parts of it really one is uh, shortcuts and one is a, a format called task paper now we've done a 58 keys on shortcuts before but if you don't happen to have dabbled yet well do be careful because you get sucked into shortcuts you will lose hours absorbed by shortcuts and, and well here's how i started that particular one just the start of it tap the plus sign tap this thing add action uh, i can't i can never remember what things are called but there was one about asking for input and then, oh there it is so there we go and there it is on the list and now i can say what the question is uh so what is it uh what was it when is the workshop something like that okay and that's done and i can press plus and start adding an action start doing something with the answer um you know the phrase you see on adverts sequences shortened this is very very shortened you go from asking a question to saying if the answer is yeah for you do this this and this and this and this and well it's all the way like that but let me go back to showing you how this really works let's find that add workshop button oops here it is as uh, lists and things I'm asking various questions for it let me actually go into the detail of the FEU one well actually oh there's the one there's uh, when is a workshop but then there's all of this going on uh, I'm scrolling fast because I don't really want you to read it I mean fine read it I'm not hiding anything but I don't want you to focus on the details because your shortcut's short, short is going to be different I just want you to focus on a couple of particular things so you see right here at the top where it asks uh, when is the workshop well a few steps further down we have set variable session date to that date and now way way down way 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 on down we have this thing here a selection of text see how session date is in there it's a variable it's a thing that changes whenever I run this shortcut and it asks me the date of the workshop and this text you're reading here is in a particular format called task paper so look at that top line for example feu venue city dash workshop title the shortcut as it works through fills out what that should be what I've said it should be which city which workshop and you know there's lots of other detail and bits I do want to come back to but then the next step here create event I need to send this to OmniFocus now I need to explain that as well as Apple's own free shortcuts uh, this tool here I've added toolbox pro I'm pretty sure you can do this stuff without it but I can't remember and I bought toolbox pro it's five pounds 99 and just makes it easier to do this as lots of other functions makes the ones there somewhat easier and here all I'm doing is telling it to create a project in OmniFocus see that add text to folder FEU and now that part I want to go back to you notice this line up here about um, revise workshop uh, there is it the Omni outliner document the keynote presentation all this stuff minus 5d minus five days um, I need to do all sorts of things that are several D's or W's 
before, but I don't have to say what those Ds are. I write it in there, minus two weeks, minus five days, minus 10 days, whatever it is. Whenever the date of the workshop is, when OmniFocus gets this list in task paper format, it figures out the date two weeks before. And, and that's how, for example, I knew for a thing on the 25th that I should book the hotel on the 11th. I have skipped steps, I haven't half rushed through, but these are things you know about. Uh, you need to know that this, this is a useful thing. I mean, look, it took some effort, but now I've pressed one button and everything is entered for them. I did have to work it out once, but once I'd worked it out once, I can never forget any of the steps. And yes, it shortcuts and it takes steps, but you, you do build up to it. And, and actually, as it happens, I, I think I did write that whole shortcut myself, but I know I did it after seeing how others have done other shortcuts. Um, in the Shortcuts app, and uh, in fact, let me show you, on your iPhone, there's a gallery. Go into the gallery and see oodles of shortcuts written by other people and see how they did it. But seriously, you know, I, you, I cannot tell you how addictive shortcuts are. You have to discover that for yourself. Um, you should go off and do that then. Uh, that's it. So th let's make that this the end for 58 keys this time. Thank you for asking to see this one. I, I love it. That's what the comments box was invented for, isn't it? And thanks for watching as well. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon.